Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. This time, however, you'll notice it's just still, quiet, tranquil, not the sound in the, uh, not a sound at all of any vehicles moving and that's because today we are going to be starting a brand new map. We are on this map called Britannia, uh, which is the area of Brittany. It's a semi-fictional map, it's got real places, but it is a fictitious map and this map is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it is quite a long and thin map, much like the whole series we've been doing, uh, however this is going to allow us to make a main line. Now obviously with us not having any sort of realistic parameters to work for, it is just build what you see. So this map, if we zoom out here, you'll see I like to go east to west, but you can go north to south. So if we go east to west, you've got Brest here, which is one of the big cities. Uh, Quimper, also a big city. A couple of little towns in between, such as Pontivy, uh, Lorient, Cribéron, my finest French accent, of course, Dol de Bretagne, and uh, René in the east here, and uh, Nantes down in the uh, in the south of the east so uh, we've got quite a few big cities to play with and uh, of course this area here allows for some sort of huge main line with lots of passenger traffic on it we've got freight around here the industries are actually really nicely placed so hopefully we'll be able to make some quite pretty things on this map now this isn't going to replace the east yorkshire series so don't worry ladies and gentlemen but I know that obviously there's a lot of you that really, really like Transport Fever that subscribe to this channel. So we are going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to have two Transport Fever 2 videos a week now because you guys seem to love it. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. This is going to be an English theme map because I really want to use British trains and make a really cool looking, you know, with loads and loads going on. That's what the uh, the outcome of this hopefully will be. So, uh, yeah, uh, we've got it paused. It's going to be paused in January 1990 for quite some time because I really want to get a lot of network southeast, uh, intercity, you know, proper British rail trains going first of all, and then we can move into privatisation later on. So uh, just having a look around the map at what we've got to offer. We've got a big woodland area in the middle here. That's beautiful. Uh, we've also got like we've got a couple of logs there, a couple of forests that are going to take to the sawmill. That's quite nice. Where could you go? You could then take to Landaneur, which could then take tools to Brest. So that would actually work pretty well as a, a little chain to get us started. Uh, we've also got grain here. Where could the grain go? Oh, we've got more more of that there. Although we could, we could now. This is an interesting one. We could have a big hub and sort of transport everything up and down. Uh, by hub. I mean, that looks like it's going to be a hub there, doesn't it? At Lorient. And we've got another hub up there. Yeah, it's, uh, it really does seem like we've got a couple of interesting transport hubs. Another one up here. Uh, we could have another one down here. There we go. That's where we can make all of our goods. That actually does seem like quite a good idea. Got two farms here. Uh, yeah, do you know what? That might be a really nice one to start at. Actually, we've got uh, two farms. I don't know what I'm doing. The problem is... Traffic, because it's modern day. Traffic, ooh, pink Cadillac, funky. Uh, yeah, traffic does get really, really heavy around here. Uh, so, I mean, we've got... See, poor Nick wants food. Nant also wants food. It might be a really nice one to get a few trucks going. What, what do we think? What do we think there? Yes, no, not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Um, what's going on? You see, we could go over here, but then that's that's sort of going to there, isn't it? Right. What we could do is we could delete this bridge. Right. We're going for it, people. Is this going to work? I do not know. But we're going to delete this road. There we go. Right. We don't need to delete actually that much, do we? But we're going to delete it and then put it back in again. Nope, not like that though, we're not. Uh, we're going to get that on there. Yeah, just keep it exactly as it was. But we'll keep it flat so that it can cross over with these roads. Yeah, a bit like that. Right, that's that's actually going to work. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll build it, build you to there. No, a little bit to the, there we go, that's better. Right, is that the, that's the road. Right, keep that bridge there. Lovely, we'll just have some traffic lights in. Build you up there, there we go. So we'll just take the bridge out. Because then obviously we can turn left to here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, some trucks 
in here. We just want the normal normal doodah, right, 30 metres, three either side. Probably not required, but uh, you can never have too many, can you? Right, um, if we put you down here, it's going to look good. Because if we put you there, then I can put some, some nice cargo what's it's on the end here lovely right one two can we not get three on there no you're uh, you're not for having it are you right hang on we'll, we'll go down too big uh, one two three we'll have to do something to make that look a little bit better because it looks absolutely atrocious at the moment can we squeeze one of you in there no right a couple of couple of little ones no nope. What about some little ones there? That's uh, okay, that looks better. Right, so, obviously we're going to drop the food off from the farms. We can then take more food back to uh, to Pornick. So it actually works out pretty well, to be honest with you. Right, okay, one of each there. And we'll put you in this field. There we go, that's going to look pretty good. Right, okay, where's the depot going to be? Should we have it on the outskirts of Nantes? The problem is, is the traffic gets so busy here. The traffic gets so mental. We'll, uh, we'll unpause it, there we go. That uh, that it does... I, I don't want to rely too heavily on trucks. Right, so here we go. So this can be the first line of the new series, truck. Uh, where are we going? Indre... Uh, grain... Obviously, we're working with modern-day vehicles straight away, aren't we? So we've uh, we've got the Eddie Stobarts. I do actually want to use some sort of grain hopper, though, if we can. Have we have we got anything that that like could actually be considered as a you know grain? I don't really want to use them. I, I want a hopper wagon, so it looks pretty good. You're not for uh, you're not for having it, though, are you? Never mind. Right, I tell you what, we'll go for the forty-ton tarpaulin truck. Six? You think six will be enough? Let's go for it. By the time they get there, that's going to be producing. Now we're going to need something to take to, uh, to poor Nick. These can just be little distribution trucks. There we go. That is actually going to get all of the food there, isn't it? So there we go. We'll pop you in poor Nick. And we also want to distribute to here. Look at all that food. That is a lot of food in Nantes. Right, tell you what, we'll get you to Pornick first of all. Truck. Whoops. Pornick food. There we go. Lovely. I reckon three might be enough, but I tell you what we'll do. We'll uh, we'll go for go for one of these. Oh, I could have used one of these funky ones. Right, hang on. One. Two. Three. We'll we'll go for some colour. Pornick food. There we go. I've just realised I've, uh, I've I've put the food lorries and one of them's an Argos. Argos don't sell food, you idiot! Right, let's let's try again. Let's let's go for B and M. There we go. Right, lovely. These guys, they're just taking grain out of this, so these can actually be, you know, they can be plain grey. It's absolutely fine. And what I want to do is, I know it'll be a slow start. It sometimes is on these series, is 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 is, is but I want to, you know, I want to build a really strong foundation for, you know, for expansion later. I want to be able to put a train line down and just not care at all, you know, because we've got the money coming in. There we go. These guys are all off. Lovely. So there, uh, how many have we got? Thirty-six waiting. Going to put a couple of you on here. Stick another one on the end. No, you're, you're not for having that. I mean, we don't need another one of those, do we? We'll stick you there. Just so that there's never too much grain. We don't want too much grain, do we? Waiting and uh, and losing it. What's all this going on here? You see, there's quite a, a few nice little buildings like this that they put in. This is lovely. Really, really nice. You can fit 25. Why are you going so slowly? Speed up, please. We've got uh, we've got grain lorries to uh, to transport. Grain to transport. You see, look, this is backing up already into Nantes. This is the problem, you know, I'd like to be able to serve all these areas here. But if we can't get across the road... See, look, we've got 
Tell you what, if I uh, if I tack the have we got we can tack the traffic lights off. There we go. Right, tack these traffic lights off. See if that flows any better. Is that gonna work any better? I've always found that the traffic lights do slow this down a lot. See now that that's actually moving, should we should we just go for it? Let's just put you there. There we go. We'll put you there, and then we've got quite a few bits of food here, so we could actually drop off en route there. Right, okay. Let's go for it. Let's just put it in. Indri to... Where are we going? Nont. Truck. Uh, so it will be the Nont food. There we go. Right, how many do you reckon? Another three? We can always add more on later, can't we? Right. Not Asda, uh, not Asda, uh, Argos. What's your obsession with Argos, man? Right, there we go. Asda, B&M, and Tesco's. We'll have another another couple round there. Mont food. Right, off you pop. Right, you see, now these aren't, these aren't bringing enough food. Right, there we go. Are you the are you truck one? Got another truck down there. Right, tell you what we'll do. We're uh, it doesn't matter about the time. It's not advancing time, are we? So we'll uh, we'll just go with that. A bit of fast forward just to see if this is actually making any money. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be nice if you know first venture made us a bit of cash. Right, go on, are you, uh, are you going to start? Hopefully they'll space themselves out over time, won't they? Aha, our first delivery, £191,000. We're working in pounds again, I know it's dollars, isn't it? But, uh, right, hang on, we'll repay some of this loan so that we're not actually paying an extortionate amount in interest for the time being. You see, this is where we're going to struggle here. Right, turns out it's just the traffic lights, we're on our way again. Lovely. Look at that. Have we got any trucks coming the other way? <clears throat> nope, because they're all stuck together here, aren't they? Lovely. Right, that's that's exactly what we wanted. Right, keep this going. Right, where are we? So that's got 80 grain waiting. Which is actually fine now, because these trucks are going to space themselves out, aren't they? I can, uh, I can feel it. We're not using the timetable mod. We will use the timetable mod for uh, for our trains when we get them, because it does actually work really well. I've been experimenting with that. And it, uh, it is really good, the timetable mod. Right, so that's 50, so these will both be leaving full. And obviously these guys just need to space out a little bit more. You've got some food on, that is good stuff. 27 waiting for month food. Yeah, that, that could take a while looking at the... Uh, actually, no, hang on, deliveries have been made. Look at that, people. Alright, yeah, this, this could be... We could be here a while. Why are you all wanting to go right? Ah, uh, because you probably want to go up here, don't you? I mean, things are moving, slowly. Do you know what? Because we've got that much coming, I might just clone you all again. No, I won't, because you haven't got enough money to do that, Joe. How much have we got waiting now? 40. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot waiting there, isn't there? Right, you're all making cash. See, if I upgrade this to two lane, I don't think that's going to let us go left, is it? Hmm. See, they are all making progress, just very slow progress, and it doesn't really matter when they're running empty, does it? Right, 
what about if we uh, if we just have a nice little screenshot? Look at that. Lovely. Right, you're you're uh, yeah you're you're not going to get back anytime soon, are you? What are we doing in terms of the uh, yeah fifty waiting? B and M lorry leading the way there. This might actually work better if we put some traffic lights in. Should we should we give it a try and no uh, you see no. Uh, no, we'll leave it like that, because the traffic lights, they do work better. Everyone just sorts themselves out, don't they? Where are you going? Oh, you're going that way. Right, okay, I'll let you off then. Hopefully that'll space us out with the Asda lorry behind. Oh no, he's there. Look, they're both there. They're both travelling together. No good, no good. Right, there we go. 25 in. That's the Asda lorry. Oh no, hang on. That's the Asda lorry going somewhere else. That's fine. We're bringing more grain. How's that hanging? Right, so there is grain. It's working. I mean, if we look at our lines here, we are actually losing money. Excellent. The food is not producing. It's not making us any money whatsoever at the moment, is it? Mind you, things haven't really been delivering. How's this down here? Are we uh, are we actually all... You see, traffic's not that bad in Pornic. That's fine. And when it comes to the actual delivering of this food, the, the you know, we're pretty quick down here, aren't we? Look at that. It's quick food delivery. Oh, auto save, doing his thing. Come on, where are you? Let's let's be having you now. Not an awful lot to save, I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, right, here we go. Come on, let's have some proper proper good money made. 126,000, right, okay. It's not an awful lot, is it? Um, the good thing is, is the grain is making a lot of money. Oh, that's backing up down here, isn't it? That's not going to look good on the uh, on the old food production there. See, I know I can use bus lanes, can't I? I can send the trucks down bus lanes. I might have to try doing that. Hmm. It would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? To send the truck down a bus lane of some sort here. I wonder if we could... Oh, no, because we can't, because this is all in the way. This won't let me upgrade it, will it? Should we give it a try and see what happens? Right, hang on. Either side. Yeah, collision. Probably because that fence is in the way. You. Uh, oh, you're going to let me do that there, though. Right, tell you what. We'll borrow two million and upgrade that. And then what we'll do is we'll delete this fence, because it might be this fence that it's colliding with. And the posts, are you having a laugh? Why are you not going to the right? Go to the right there, that would be much simpler. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that whoever made this map has taken the actual time and effort to, to put all this here this map better let me uh, it better let me do this with the road afterwards I mean you've got to admit this is like pure dedication to, to making the map look great and it does but it does mean that we can't upgrade the roads when we want to or at least we don't have to pay any money to destroy all this unless it's just going to bill me later could you imagine right come on come on This is what we call compulsory purchasing the land. This is why I missed one of these little uh, little doodars. And it won't let me do it. Right, come on. A little bit more. One more. Well, more than one more. A few more. K 
come on. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. There we go. We'll have that finish in there. Right, okay. We can upgrade this now. Aha! Look at that. Now, I'm going to try putting a bus lane in and seeing what happens there. If our trucks can just whiz up and down now. Without a care in the world. That would be quite nice. Although what I do need to do is I need to take these bus stops, uh, bus stops, traffic lights out. Because they're just going to queue everything up, aren't they? Take that out as well. We don't need you. Okay, there's a little blockade of traffic uh, there. A little bypass by having a bus lane in. That That's going to work. Is that cheating? I don't think it is. I, I think it's probably not. That's that's fine. That's fine having a bus lane. We could also do the same thing here, couldn't we? Although we wouldn't be able to put the bus lane down the middle and this would need to, to turn left. Because we could like have some sort of tram, maybe? Connecting all of these to try and reduce traffic a little bit. That would be quite useful, wouldn't it? I mean, are we making money? Oh, we are! Wow, we're actually making money now, people. That's good. Yeah, do you know what? I'm feeling a tram. You know, just just sort of down, <clears throat> down here, just to just to take as much traffic off the road. Maybe people will use that. Good lord, look at that! That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Where are these lot coming from? Oh, these are all coming from down here in Pornic. Right, yeah, that's that's always going to be a problem, isn't it? Without actually having some sort of railway here. I mean, I do want to have a railway in uh, in Mont. Alright, tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll have some more lorries. We don't have enough money for more lorries. We will have an additional lorry. Just one additional lorry. Yeah, are you are you there? You're the you're the ninth food. Lovely stuff. Because you know there's lots to be taken, isn't there? There, right. Where's the other one? Oh, he's queuing to get back as well. Yeah, it's it's not ideal, is it? Right, I'll tell you what we will do. Right, let's let's go with that tram idea just to take some money. Uh, take some money. Take some passengers from Shalon up here. We could actually send the tram past here and into North Suerda that way. That would work. Right, it, it will work. It will. Promise you. Possibly. Uh, right, okay. So we're going we're gonna to get a, a bit more road going on here. What about some sort of nice tram terminus? How's that? Have we got a uh, got a nice tram terminus here? Right, electric tram. That's going to work, isn't it? Oh, I didn't actually mean to click that, but there we go. Right, it's in now. And we'll have another one down at the other end. Right, can we can we have it the other way around? There we go, because then we can actually put it next to the road, can't we? Oh, look at that. Right on the edge of the world. Right, tram track. Go for it. Right, we've got catenary in. Now, I want tram track and bus lane. Can we do that? We can't do it both at once. Right, okay. Don't really like having trams on a roundabout, and for s oh oh right okay that's a suspension bridge now it's got trams running over it. Right, which way were we going? So we were going down here, weren't we? There we go, past the stadium. Yeah, lovely, all the way up here. Should we go? Should we go up this way and through not so uh, that way? Yeah, that that'll do. Yeah, that's that's looking good. Right, round there, lovely, all the way down into Shalon, that way. Right, we'll go with bus lane. Have all of this upgraded to a bus lane. That's fine. Same again on this one. Yeah, get you all in the middle. And then this lot. There's no more dual carriageway, is there? Right, okay, so where are we going to put the trams? The trams can go down here. That will do. Right, put the tram depot there. I haven't put any tram stops in. Right, okay. I want these to be fairly, like, if 
efficient. Like, I want them to have a good run between stops. There we go. Uh, we'll have another one there. I think it uses... This map actually wants the... Um, you know that tool where you can get people to go there? So I reckon that they'll probably have that. Right, there we go. You can just be one stop for all of this island. There we go. It's fairly minimal stops, isn't it? There we go. We'll have a, a stop at Shalon. Another one there. Right, so we're going there. We're going to stop. Whoops, add stop. Go, go. So, like I say, it's fairly fairly quick, hopefully. I know it's going to get stuck in traffic. There will be traffic, but hopefully this is going to like sort of make less traffic, which will then make the trucks better. Right, hang on. So this is tram. Where are we going? We're going from Chalons to somewhere else. Down here. No, hang on, right, that's that's Shalans in the north. North Sir Edra. Yeah, this this is not good for my pronunciation, right? Hang on. To Shalans. There we go. Right. What trams are we gonna use? I think we're gonna see these are alright, but they carry so many people. I think we're gonna use these ones. They're a bit more there's not as much going on either. The the LVS. Developed in St. Petersburg. Right, we can't actually afford many of them, can we? Right, hang on. We can have ten of them. We'll go with ten. Oh, hang on, what's what's going on there? No electric. Hang on, right. Catenary, yes. Right, there's catenary all the way down here. Oh, little patch there. Right, there we go. Got everything else? Was everything... Yeah, I bet some of you spotted that, didn't you, when uh, when I was doing this? Look at that. Full-on old... Old tram, sort of Tatra-esque, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's go back to the old fast-forward. I realise that uh, we're very much on the autosave again. There we go. Back to it. Right, now what we'll do... Why are there only three on there? There we go. Get the rest of you on. We're going to use the timetable now. So lines, not so Erdra to Shalons. We'll arrive and depart. No, nope, unbunch. We'll have one minute of unbunching at each end. And then the same again there. One minute of unbunching at each end. I wonder if we could actually have some unbunching en route. Could we? Right, I'll take that. I don't know what ticking that does, but... Uh... Unbunch. We'll have 30 minutes of unbunch. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? No, tell you what, we, we won't do that. Yeah, no timetable there. We'll just have them unbunching at the end points. Are we actually going to start? Oh, wow, look, passengers waiting. Wow, quite a few waiting there. Hopefully this will be... Uh, I mean, these are people that would make journeys. And now they're not in their cars, are they? Oh, building's just fallen down. Good Lord. Again, that might be a problem. Tell you what we'll do. We'll go for streets. Bus lane. What if I what if I do that? And so now there's a bus lane on both sides, but I want it to face the other way. There we go. So that should work now, shouldn't it? Right there we go. That's tram one. Oh, there's a there's a big queue. Right, tram two. There we go. Look at that. Twenty seven passengers aboard. So hopefully, when people start to see that these trams are actually much more efficient than the uh, than the than taking the car, they might actually decide to join us. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, then that is where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do click the like button. 
it's always appreciated. What do you think to the new map? Do let me know in the comments section. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a really, really good series. Don't worry, as I say, it's not going to replace the uh, the other series, the, uh, the East Yorkshire series. That's going to keep going until we finish that series. And uh, there is a link to the map in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, think, actually, do you know what, Joe? I can do it better than you. Uh, then please, you're more than welcome to try. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And, uh, and hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.